Period. He was plotting on my downfall. He was plotting on my downfall. He was plotting on my downfall. And now he's unemployed just like me. <laughs> I do get a little yeah. irritated when they kind of judge women yeah. based off of their body counts. I, I get, no, I don't even get kind of irritated. I get very irritated. But you know, but you know what's really crazy is as much as he he wouldn't let his pride be with her, she pined for him, and, and that that's was my and issue. that's her issue. She she pined for years. And he told you that she man. wasn't enough. You should have yeah. just took that and went about your business. Yeah, man. that's it, that's why it's the woman's fault when you wild. know. And you still stick around. That's when I'm just like, girl, know your worth. Know your worth. Know your worth. Yeah. That's all. What, what, what really got me is the fact that he really was like, I, I, I could never be with her. Like, you know, because like that, like her body count all over the neighborhood. He's like, I don't even care about women's body count, but it's like all over the fucking neighborhood. And I'm like. And even that, I'm just like, okay. Okay. Like, so the fuck is your worth? That, that's another thing. The, that's that's the, the wild part. part. That's the it's thing. Not, but it's, yeah, but, all and, over the neighborhood. And, and men will sit there. Yeah. That's the one thing that I cannot stand because men will sit there and be and literally will criticize you about the same situations and shit that they also participated in. Absolutely. And I'm just like, okay, but why is it different for you than it is for me? Oh, because of your own misogyny. You, you you're misogynistic, mm -hmm. yeah. and I, you know, pointing out all those things. I'm just like, yeah, you're a hypocritical misogynist, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. It, it mm -hmm. is. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm. Let me tell you something. Misogyny runs so deep, baby. Misogyny, misogyny is nasty. Is. Ooh, unrelated, unrelated, unrelated. Did y'all hear that Pharrell tried to go behind Chad Who Goes Back <gasps> and um, trademark the Neptunes? Chad is suing Pharrell. The Let best friend. Chad Let is drink. suing Pharrell because he was like, and his lawyer brought up a good point. His lawyer, Chad's lawyer brought up a good mm. point. He was like, 
because uh, Pharrell's lawyer was like, no, like I was trademarking it for us. And Hugo's lawyer was like, then why didn't I know about it? If it was for the both of us, why didn't I know about it? And also, why isn't it under both of our names? Why is it under just your company name? If you were trademarking it for the both of us, why is it under your name and because not the both of our name? Pharrell is nasty. And I can't, me, like, mm, I knew, I didn't need proof mm, for the Khalees situation. Mm, Pharrell. Because Khalees mm, fucked that situation up with, with the whole Beyonce album. The Beyonce up. album got on she, my nerves. But she, she, she fucked had that every up point. She had but every she point with the Pharrell situation. She, yeah, but keep it with Pharrell. Keep it with Pharrell. Because that's really who your beef was with. It was honestly and truly with Pharrell. Like, it was. Let's, let's be fucking clear with that. But my thing is that, that that's another life lesson. Everybody not your friend. Everybody not your friend. Everybody not your friend. And Pharrell, yeah, like, I, I knew, like, Especially he was when always, money is involved. Especially, and that's what it is. Money is involved. Mm -hmm. And when money is involved, people's true colors really show. Absolutely. Chad and Pharrell have been friends. I'm not even talking about, like, grown. since they've been grown. They've been friends since grade school. Yes. That's, like, third grade. They've known like, each other for that long. That? And the fact and that you, Pharrell would do that. They're about to be 50. Yeah. If not 50 already. Yeah. They're the same age you're, as, like, Jay-Z. You're literally talking about a 40-year relationship. Literally. A 40-year friendship. Chad, like, everybody knows Pharrell, the Neptunes. The Neptunes is Chad and Pharrell. Like... And so I was like, when that, has it not that been? actually disappointed the shit out of me. When I, has it not been? Um, I'm a little tipsy. I'm a little tipsy right now. But I stole this plant out my lobby. The problem is, I think I broke it. I think I broke it. Um, so like, they were letting the plants go dead. They were letting them go dead. Absolutely. So I feel like I did it. I, I did them a favor by saving them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna propagate this plant. I'm gonna propagate both of these plants. And I'm gonna propagate them. And I'm trying to see, should I do it in water? I'm gonna propagate, I think I'm gonna propagate them. No, like this is so dry. It's so dry. I'm gonna propagate these in soil. I'm just gonna put them in soil and see how they do. Um, because if they do okay, this one I'm probably gonna put in water. If they do okay, good. If they don't, I did my best. That's all I know, I did my best. But like, these are so beautiful. Like, look how beautiful these plants are. And I would hate for them to all die. Like, you guys, like, this not even the worst of it. Like, my apartment building, let all of these go dead. Let all of these go dead. Look how look at all these dead plants, dead leaves. All of these are dead. This one isn't. I I did this one. I did this one. But like the rest of these are fucking dead. And like I felt bad, so I did what needed to be done. This one is yeah. I'm gonna take this one off. This one yeah. So hopefully the rest of these do fairly well. I'm gonna plant it tomorrow. Um, I cleaned up the mess. So like I made a mess. And what I realized is they don't look at the cameras unless someone reported an incident. So what I did is I took the plant, right? But immediately, immediately I went and went to go clean up the mess that I made because I made like dirt all over the place. And like if people see dirt all over the place, you're gonna know something happened over by the plants. So what I did is I went to go clean it up. I cleaned everything up so it looks spick and span. So no one's gonna suspect anything. So no one's gonna look at the cameras. No one's gonna look at the cameras. So I'm probably, I'm gonna pop this tomorrow. You know what, I'm gonna pop this right now. I'm gonna pop this right now and put it just in something to hold it over until I can pot it, pot it. But it needs water. Like, this thing is so fucking dry. This is sad. I feel bad, you guys. Oh my God. Hey, y'all. So, I am. What am I doing? I'm getting ready to go to a 2000s party. Um, I don't know how 2000s it is. So, I just did my face a little bit. Um, I tried to do like a 2000s makeup look. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I was a kid in the 2000s. Like I was what? No, I was like a teenager in the 2000s. Let me stop. I was a teenager in the 2000s. 
you be sure I'm old. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm just like, let me just do a little light beat because the only reason why I'm going is is literally around the, it's at my old apartment, which is around the corner from my house, my current house. I literally moved up the street because I love my neighborhood, but I was like, I can't do it at that apartment. So, um, but this is what I'm wearing. Oh God, my bathroom is so dirty. This is what I'm wearing. Just something super chill, like very low stakes. Um, and this is going to be good because I did... A, I was supposed to be my friend is a um, for, uh, she's a makeup artist and a hairstylist and she had a wedding today for a friend and I guess half of her makeup and hair team got sick because they were working um, bridal week in New York so all of them got like COVID or something I'm pretty sure that's it's either COVID or the flu because they could not make it today so I had to fill in I it's something in my gut that was like let me just make myself available for my friend. I was like, you know what? Cause she told me she had this wedding this week. And I was like, ah, I'm gonna be your assistant. I'm gonna help you. I was like, I ain't doing that. Girl, we is unemployed. We gotta occupy ourselves. So she was like, okay. So yeah. Um, and it ended up, I ended up being a huge help. I did all of the curling. I was very anxious about it because I like haven't had hair in five years. And then even before that, I wasn't doing my own curling. Like I was paying people to do it. I was going to the shop. So like, it was just very, I was like, oh my gosh, oh. I don't know how to curl hair. This is white people hair. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But most of the people love this. Some of the girls had a little bit of an attitude. Like she walked up there, it's supposed to be six of you. Yeah, well, it's only three of us. So, mm. um, but yeah, we did what we had to do and we got everybody done on time. Like they were done well. They were, oh my God, we got them done way ahead of time, way ahead of schedule. And the bride loved it. That's all I care about too, because my friend is friends with the bride. So, you know, they have a long working history together. She was, she was like, as long as the bride and the bride mother likes it, girl, you are fine. I was like, okay. But yeah, I, girl, this morning was stressful. This morning was very, very stressful. So I need tonight. I need tonight so I'm very excited to go out um, just up the street and just you know have like a cute little house thing um, I guess it is a new person that lives there he's friends with he's like becoming friends with my friends there so they're gonna I'm going to introduce myself it should be fun I feel like I look cute period mm -hmm. but yeah maybe I'll film a little bit of it um, I'm still new to this vlogging thing I'm not really sure how I feel like about bringing the big ass camera so I might just do it on my phone um, and just record like I've been doing <laughs> but yes ah, I look so cute oh my god oh my god but yeah this is what I, I always okay y'all yeah cuz in the last few vlogs y'all have been seeing me look dusty crusty musty like y'all have been seeing me fresh in the morning but be even before i had coffee like that's what y'all been seeing me so you know like y'all know i can get cute or whatever y'all know like i can get cute i can be a little baddie sometimes period but yes i am rolling up in my do-rag because my hair is not set yet i lay it down with eco styler and uh the pomade and it's not dry yet so we're gonna keep it on and yeah i think i'm about to leave i'm gonna text val to see if she's ready um but yes i'll see y'all later Around the corner. I appreciate you guys all coming out though, but I really, really all jokes aside. I appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And most importantly, turn the fuck up. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey, baby. Yeah. Mocha. Leave him alone. He already nervous. Yes. He already nervous. He misses mama. Good boy, Cashy. Mm -mm. <laughs> Get it. Ooh, that's what you get. I got that whole thing on film. We're recording that whole thing. Now look at them. Pitiful. Just pitiful. <laughs> side. Maybe if I let you run your ass over on the other side. Mocha. Pitiful. Pitiful. Just pitiful. Pitiful. Always sticking that damn nose out too. Got fired. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> my old <laughs> remember my old manager that I was complaining about in my first unemployed diaries. <laughs> I love good news. Love good news. I just love good news. <laughs> he got fired. He got fired, period, 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 period. He was plotting on my downfall. He was plotting on my downfall. He was plotting on my downfall. And now he's unemployed just like me. <laughs> about to write a really nasty glass door review I was about to write a really nasty glass door review and then I thought about it and I was like you know what the only real problems that I had were caused by two of my managers and they do not reflect the entire company as a whole even though even though I would like to cut like you know just kind of put the blame on the entire company. They don't reflect the entire company as a whole. I have seniority. I ha well had seniority. I had seniority over my former manager that got fired. Um, so I know how the company has been doing things for a while now. And so when I brought up my grievances, I was like I said, I was disappointed. I was very disappointed in how they handled it 
but that's kind of all it was and instead of understanding where I was coming from and instead of trying to see it my way they let me go and in the time span of me being terminated from my position me being forced to resign because that's really what it was I was forced to resign in the time that I was forced to resign another member of the design team he had enough he was like I'm sick of this I cannot work for him anymore I cannot work under him because we didn't work for him we worked under him I can't do this anymore I'm severely like upset about you leaving you being forced to go and then I'm still struggling with him as my manager so he left and that was within a month of me leaving me a month of me my departure so I what I was my last day was January 26 I want to say my former co-worker he put his two weeks in like mid February maybe and was done at the end of February and that's when they finally started to see and I guess they okay so I guess from what I have been told when he put his two weeks in or whatever he told them why and he told them that it was because of our manager I also had the same problems with that manager but they didn't listen to me typical typical black woman in corporate America no one listened to me but they listened to a man they thought it was just me they thought I was just causing problems because of the way the manager was bringing the problems to them because I was vocal about my problems love my co-worker down my former co-worker but he never really voiced I want to say he never really voiced his grievances so no one uh, no one knew what he was going through with Thomas no one knew what he was going through um yeah he never really voiced his um his issues so no one really knew mentally where he was in terms of his mindset around working at that agency and so when he put his two weeks in it kind of came to a shock to people and then when I guess he named names he named names and they kind of started to investigate and really see okay maybe it wasn't just Jojo maybe it wasn't just Jojo maybe it wasn't maybe Jojo wasn't the issue here and you know I was talking to my other old co-worker who was unfortunately fired a few months before me she was like do you think that they would hire you back and I'm like to be honest even if they offered the option I wouldn't go back I never give anyone the chance to screw me over twice never let someone play in your face twice the first time maybe slide it caught you off guard but you never give them the opportunity to do it again so even if they did offer I wouldn't go back um it's on to the next one if that's I I, I know how you move and if that's how you move even if Thomas wasn't the issue even if my manager wasn't the issue he had no full way of clearly he was able to get fired so him being a part of me being fired it's kind of like okay well someone made the executive decision to let me go and if y'all took his word over mine because that's literally what happened they took his word over mine and then realized that he was actually the problem I don't want to work at a place like that and I would never go back to a place that did not value me everyone told me that I deserve better like and everyone's like sending me text messages like Jojo like it's so sad the way this all happened because you literally deserved better and it's just really unfortunate how everything has come to head so I got the news last night that he was fired and back to the glass door review I was gonna really write a nasty glass door review like I said but I realized I was like sometimes you need to let go and even though I'm not super Christian sometimes you need to let go and let God and you need to let go and let the universe handle the karma that because I, I absolutely believe in karma I believe in karma and if anything this event this whole situation has proved to me that karma is real and the energy that you put out into the world will absolutely come back to bite you in your ass so a few weeks ago I decided to not write that glass door review because I was like you know what like I said it's not a reflection of the entire company just management and they didn't fire him anyway and 
what can I say? The universe did her big thing with that one. She was looking out for sis. I didn't say anything negative. I quietly did, I, I let it go. Cause I, I really could have ripped them a new one. I could have told them about themselves. I really could have, but I was like, you know what? Karma is gonna get them. Karma's gonna get them. And it did, and it did. Um, and uh, apparently the agency is like struggling with a huge client. Cause that's what I guess happened. He kind of messed up. And I guess they were about to lose a client if they haven't already. And that's kind of the agency's karma too, for not listening to me, for not taking my, I live by the train station. <laughs> that's the agency's karma. If they lose this client, that is the agency's karma for not listening to me, not taking my word serious, not valuing me and everything that I have brought to this job. And, you know, a job is a job at the end of the day. So I wasn't expecting any cookies or anything, but I did expect something. I did expect to be, to, to, for the situation to just go a little bit easier. And yeah, so good riddance. To, like this has truly come full circle, y'all. Like it really has been a full circle moment and I love it. I love it so fucking much. Like I love how this has all played itself out. I texted everybody. <laughs> I texted everybody the news. I texted everybody. And it's been fabulous. It's been fabulous. It's been fabulous. But in other good news, because that's not even bad news. That's like good, like that's good news for me. In other good news, oh, um, I have a job interview today. <laughs> I have a job interview today. Um, I hope it goes really well. Um, it is just a freelance job. It's um, contract with a big company, big daily like news company. Um, and this is another reason why karma, the energy that you put out there will come back to you. My former manager, because I've had like three design managers at that agency. The first manager that I had when I got hired during COVID, she left the agency a few months in to the new year. I want to say she left January 2021. So I was only working with her for like six months. She left that the agency to work at this new place that she's at. Well, she's been there for three years now. And she sent me a referral link for this job. It is only part time, 20 hours a week, 20 hours a week. But I think I get like $40 an hour. So that that pays my rent. That pays my rent. And then I still have my other like, you know, part time contract job. That's like if I can keep between 10 to 15 hours, you know, off and on, that's extra money for me to have. So she referred me to the job. I have my job interview right away. It's like she literally like the associate art director contacted me and like in, almost immediately after I applied and I have my job interview today. So I'm really hoping for this one because if I get this job, like uh, it'll just be it'll be a breath of fresh air the unemployed diaries will be over but i will still be making content and i'll still be like focusing on you know dealing with like there's a lot of things that i am still going to be struggling with like being in debt like i, mm, I don't know if i told y'all but i have a lot of debt i have a lot of debt and i was trying to pay it off but then i lost my job so couldn't pay it off <clears throat> If I do really well and like I nail this interview, she said, if you get this interview and you do well in this one, we'll call you back for a second interview to meet with the team. And I'm really hoping that I just shine today and people see who I am and they see my talent and they see that I genuinely like I love designing and I can contribute to the team in more ways than just the work that I do. And so the energy that you put out there y'all it really will come back tenfold and i have kept my relationships with my former co-workers that's the thing 
I've only had issues with one, with one to two people at that agency. I had another issue in the beginning, but we kind of got over that. We got over that hump. We got over that hump. But I keep good relationships with people because genuinely I don't be the problem. Like you ever really sit down and be like, people will do you so dirty and you don't be the problem. You really be trying to keep the peace. You really just do your job or you try to keep the relationship, but you always got somebody that's out to get you, that really like plotting against you. I've dealt with this since I was a child. I've always had somebody, genuine like haters. Like I'm not even trying to say that to be funny. I have always had like genuine haters be upset just because of who I am and how people respond to me. People genuinely like, I'm not even trying to like, I have an energy about me and that people gravitate towards me about. And it's because I'm genuine. That's all it is. But because that threatens people who aren't genuine, it, threaten pe it threatens people who don't have the, um, just the, 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 the real, the realness about them. People will be like, oh, okay well I don't like you and it's like okay you don't need to like me I didn't force you to like me but what we need to do is be cordial what we need to do is be professional and people don't know how to do that so my former manager not my current one my old old one that got me this interview today I appreciate her so much she was like I can't guarantee anything and I'm like girl I don't need you to guarantee anything you got me in the door you got me in the door and that's all I needed it really be all that you need sometimes is someone thinking of you and offering the opportunity for you to shine. You got my name in. Now it's my turn to do my job. And I will forever be grateful even if I don't get the position. I'm not putting that energy into the world. But even if I don't get the position, I'll be forever grateful for the community that I have built and the people that I have in my life that are constantly looking out for me and it's just really beautiful to see how i really like i can be down and i can be out but i know that as long as i keep myself and my character to be the person that i am and the person that i want to reflect and the put the and the the love and the energy that i want to put out into the world and have that brought back to me Baby, I'm never gonna change. That's never gonna change. I'm always gonna be the same person. I'll obviously grow up and develop, but like, I'm always gonna be that person that, I'm never gonna let someone get me out of my character. Cause like, I can be, I wouldn't, I can be mean. I can be mean, but it takes a lot for people to get me there. It takes a lot for people to get me there. And I'm never gonna let someone get me out of character to be mean. So yeah. Old manager got fired. Uh, former agency about to lose a client. Uh, and I have a job interview today. Um. <laughs> <laughs>